Hey folks, Quillyheen here, and we're back with some more Pathfinder Kingmaker, and we are checking out this uh, Technique Society camp, these slavers, who were actually really, really, really scary, um, but hopefully it'll go a little bit better now. After I cast Tristan's Scorching Way, I'm going to try to change his memorization at that point uh, to something else. Maybe we'll focus on buffs for him, I'm not sure. Is there any pre-buffing to do? Well, again, for 10 minutes... It's probably worth quaffing the mutagens. I wonder if the natural armor stacks. You know what? Let's hit both. So let's see here. It's nice that it shows you everyone's stats in here. Natural armor plus two. Uh, oh, okay, no. So I drink one or the other. Okay. Now I have the option, but I would much prefer the, uh, the dexterity side of it. All right, let's run sort of middle of the map first. Or... Okay. I mean, I'm not having to rush too much for the 10 minute thing, but I'm also a little confused that uh, I was expecting to run into something on the right way. And I said, the, these individual maps don't seem to be too big. They're smaller than the Baldur's Gate maps. Oh, hang on. Whoa. Stop. Halt. Oh. Go for a hunt. Bring back plenty of meat. I wonder if some of them are splitting up. Because that would be convenient. Something bothering you? Request. Bless. I'm listening. We started by having a summoned monster up front to soak some hits. That would actually be quite nice. Just letting the ink dry. I shall end this. Ready for battle. Um, not sure the summoned monster finished. You can cause fears right away. At least it's going to be a little easier to manage some of these effects. Oh, some of them are sleeping, which is nice to see. All right, so we've got an archer over there. Well, definitely rage. Which is, yeah, free action. Boom. And we definitely want to charge. So I can't charge you. I can charge Kalana. There'll be an attack of opportunity from this mage, but that's less scary, definitely. So an enraged barbarian charge. Oh, another attack of opportunity there, but at least that wasn't too bad. We did take a, I think we took a hit from this guy, yeah? But we hit him for 13 with a ginormous sword. And the thing is, we want to be in... I think this person's a mage. Well, they must have. Do we have prisoners here? Yeah, slaves. Free. I wonder if we can free them mid-combat and have them help us. Okay. I think we're good here. Oh, shit. All right, we're going to have an entire freaking camp after us here. We'll take them a while to join in. The important thing, though, is to hammer these two. Yes. If we can. Yes. Summon wolf. All right. Um, actually, the hideous laughter is going to be key, I think, for trying to shut down these guys. Uh, you've already gone. Hang on. Hideous laughter is, I'm going to say, probably a will. Now, which is unfortunate because these guys probably have half decent will save. Not inspected. I wonder what you need to do to do this. Plus four will. We don't know. Maybe we should target Kalana. What is Kalana anyway? We level three wizard. Oh yeah, they're both level three wizard. Same as last time. So maybe it doesn't matter which one I hit. So yeah, we'll hideous laughter this one. Hoping they've got worse stats. Excellent. It'll be a little easier to kill that way. Again, I, sh I should have maybe taken a full move first. I gotta remember that I can't split my movement. This isn't fifth edition. Fourth edition, I think you can split your movement as well. I'm not sure. And I suspect Pathfinder V2, I'm betting you can split your movement. Because there doesn't actually seem to be a good reason not to allow that. I think there's also no reason why I shouldn't just move as much as I can here. I wonder, how do you trigger a double move? Oh, just by moving far enough. Why is my movement rate 20? Am I encumbered? Why can I only move 20? See, I'm really happy I'm going turn base because I think it's going to cause me to really take a, a closer look at some of the things going on here. My personal load is medium. Oh, yeah, minus 10 speed. Okay. See, I, I don't think I would have been aware of as many of these things. Uh, he's already taken his attacker opportunity. He doesn't have combat reflexes. Um... Although, I want to make sure I'm outside of his range 
for next round. So I'm going to move somewhere like this. Okay, yeah, see, I'm, I'm so happy I went to turn-based. So I can't shield you. But we definitely want to drop a bomb over here. Okay, so there's a scatter roll in these throws. I was wondering about that because it oh, sometimes I'm like, did I misclick? But no, I think there's a scatter roll. Um, and so it's scattered the wrong way here to hit all of them. I still, don't, I still wish I could target the ground. I'm a little confused as to why I can't. I do have the um, the extra dexterity and the natural armor, so my season proved a lot. Oh, your Valerie is feared, right? Oh, that's annoying. Last input wouldn't define favor, which is a standard action. No, I don't think we do anything like that. Uh, can I get a charge? No. No, and that's another mage there, and I don't like the idea of that being around. Um, but clearly I won't charge. What I'll probably do, though... So I could double move, but I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to single move. There, there must be a way to rotate the camera. I mean, it's 3D. I mean, maybe not. But this would be very useful. Um, controls... Move camera. I don't see a rotate. Because it's it's being a little tricky to move here and not click on the guy. I, I'm going to have to... I want to melee him. So I want to move to the other side. But then I will just melee him so I still get an action this turn. Give me plus one to hit. Wretched things. And then fail to hit. Yeah, sacred. Plus one judgment. But again, it doesn't show me the buff. I'm really a little confused about that, but... Alright. And your turn. Tristian. I think it might be nice to get a shield of faith going here, or... Um, you know what? I think we're going to do some summons, actually. That is going to be the thing. I'm gonna summon, yeah. Do I wanna do a maximum move first before I do this? Maybe? Somewhere around here. I wanna be at least a little closer being able to do some touch heals in a bit. But I'm gonna summon a wolf right next to this guy. Uh. Shit, I did a full round move. When did that happen? We'll move back. Well, Tristian is going to be really useless this turn. No fault of his own, really, this time. Ow, ow. Mary's taking some hits. She's definitely going to be focused by a lot of things. What are you casting? Another summon. At least we know, well, like, when this person left last time, their wolves went away. Also, they're only going to last for three rounds. Fucking, of course you're going to crit me. Why wouldn't you crit me? Oh. Okay. First of all, this is just going to use a move action. So I will drink. Um, next, we're going to swing. And I'm definitely going to swing at Kalana. <laughs> nice! Downed. Okay, beautiful. Huge! Uh, and I'm going to scooch over this way. Oh, wait. There's still a mage over here. Although there's also this one. I think I will still scooch over this way. Get in a better position for taking on these guys next round. Sphere will save. Succeeded. Nice. Now, Lindsay. It'd be nice if there was a toggle here to just force it. Make it a little less finicky. You know what I mean? We'll move up. So I'm afraid of times I'll, like, accidentally do the extra move, which would suck. Let's drop a hideous laughter over here. There it is. Although, again, maybe I should target the ones with weaker will saves. But I'm just worried about more of these fear effects. 
Actually, you know what? You probably have a weaker will save. I didn't actually check, but there we go. And at least it'll make the melee attack that much easier. All right, that's Lindsay. So this is going to slow down our gameplay time even more. Although, maybe we'll have to reload less often, so it won't be so bad. Um, I could reach a mirror to drop a shield on her. Well, you're shaken. Oh, because you made your save, but you're still shaken. All right. I think I like this idea. Oh, I'm not actually going to be able to do it because of my shit movement. See, and that was probably hurting us a lot in previous combat, and I didn't realize it. That I was spending a bunch of extra rounds just moving and not actually taking actions, and I just had no idea. Alright, I'm going to hit the mage from here. 20 damage. It was a crit, but still. 1d6 plus 5 times 2. Wow. And then, yeah, I may as well scooch forward a little bit more here. And yeah, it's only letting me do a 5-foot step after I do the throw. I'm a little... Is it attempting to do a full round action? Because I should be able to move 20 and fire. Maybe I'll move first and then fire next time. Maybe the game... Maybe there's an order. Maybe it's always move... <gasps> Is it always move then standard? But if you didn't move, you get to do a five foot step regardless. That's probably what's going on. It's been a while. Yeah, you can't reach anything. So I guess you'll just double move. I think that's exactly what's going on. Uh, what? Did, did you get feared again? You're frightened. Start May start for flee from enemies. Okay. Maybe because you got too close again. Well, I guess that's just the way it's going to be. Now, you are somewhat injured. It would be great to do a heal, but the thing is, you have a nice attack against a prone opponent over here. I think we've got to go for this. Oh, yeah, so you can... I, I'm betting it is like that. Despicable. Oh, are you kidding me with the miss? Yeah, minus four prone, and we still missed. And now I can only do the five foot. Okay. Although, I still have my move action. That's interesting. I still have my move action, so I could still use a potion. And I could do this to force people to retarget, but they might retarget to a Miri, so I'm not going to do that. All right, Tristian... Can you... Yeah, I think you will be able to drop a big heal over here. Um, let's... We're going to use a level 2 spell for this. Well, how about like Scorching Ray, which I probably won't use otherwise. Cure Moderate Wounds. Good. Oh, it's interesting. You sort of pre-cast it. Or you're making the sounds first. Move. Cure Moderate. This is so much more manageable. I love it. And that's it for you. You might get targeted because you're a little closer. This mage is standing up. Cause fear. Saving throw failed. Oh. And more damage. This is a lot of incoming damage. Calm down. Ouch. Shit. Not dead yet. Yeah, I'm nearly dead. Now, I don't want to get an op attack of opportunity, but I kind of feel like we've got to go for the, the mages. You know what I mean? Uh, it's too bad I can't do a, a charge for the extra attack, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to accept the attack of opportunity. Although it might down her, at which point then she won't even get an action at all. Alright, I'll use my move to drink a potion instead. And then just swing over here. Bring it! And then I still get the five foot step. So I'm gonna do this. I don't think I could have five foot stepped and attack. Maybe I wonder if there's a toggle I could have done to say, like, move and attack this person, but only with a five-foot step. Well, they love cause fear. It is, I mean, it is powerful. I'll give them that. Um, cure light wounds. It's kind of tricky to get up there. I think I'm going to hideous laughter. Maybe I should do an archer. Come on, show me your will save. Plus zero. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'll have to move into melee range. That guy to do it. So let's not. Okay, let's actually move. Yeah, we're going to move our maximum 20 over here to be closer to Miri. 
I still like that as a nickname. And then I'll hideous laughter this one with their plus zero to will save. Good. Okay. We're not probably not going to do prone attacks against you, but at least it takes you out for another couple of rounds. So we're spending a round of one of our characters take someone out for two. Although, I think they get a save every round, so. But it's probably not going to succeed. This fear sucks. Like, I think we can't, we don't have anything that prevents the fear. We can give ourselves a bonus to our save. It might be worth looking into just doing more of that. Can you get here? Can you make the move? Because you're still feared. That's what that effect is. Nope, there's the Frighten. Um, I think the thing to do is still to try to finish this guy off while he's on the ground. Although, I could do a charge on the Archer. Because I would still get the prone bonus there. Or try to take out more of these mages if they have fear. I assume at some point they got to run out of spell slots, though. You know, I kind of like this idea. Should dramatically increase our chance to hit. And a crit. Okay. Such a fail. Trist or no, not Trist. Yeah, it is Tristian, sorry. Um Well, I think. Well, you're low, but you're running away. Because I could do my AoE heal, but I think the thing to do is to consume consume another second level spell to heal Miri. Although the summons are pretty tempting too. Done. And I guess you had to do a tiny little move to do that, because we have nothing left. Ah! Uh, I still have a move action. But I can't five foot. That's weird. But yeah, let's drink the mage armor potion. Get a little bit more AC here. Alright, I'm still a little confused about the turn-based and the different actions. Uh, oh, Yes. Wait, no. Did we fail or fear? God damn it. Listen, escape and tie us. We'll fight with you. Oh shit, they will fight with us. I wonder if I can do this in one turn. Answer appears to be no. Can I still daze from here? Really? Or just shoot? Uh, it's the will negates. Let me just shoot this mage. Wishes. Or not? This is where I step in. All right. Again, UI slight confusion. It looked like she was willing to attack, even though I thought I had double moved. It does appear to be the case. Do I have a potion that will... Oh, you're no longer feared. That's good, although you'll also not uh, be in range for a while. Well, I guess you just double move this turn, and next turn you can charge and attack. I'm happy you're back, though, Valerie. Done. Jathale, good kill there. I'm assuming we actually can't land a charge on that one, but... Hang on, why can't I charge you? Clear path. How do I not have a clear path over here? Wait, is, are you actually out of range? No. Because I can't reach, I can't, uh, I can't reach you in a single move. I have to double move, but that's what a charge is. Learn how to use it first. Is it because of a facing thing? That's actually really annoying. I'm already blessed, so I don't have to do this. I suppose what I can do is I'll move 20. See, there's the 20 slash 40 and the 20 over here. It's important to do the single move and not accidentally jerk my mouse with my hand trimmers and screw that up. And then we're gonna self heal with an inflict wounds. That's kind of a puny amount of healing, but I guess it's gonna have to do. All right, Tristian. Do I just drop another heal on Miri? Well, Miri's a million miles away now, so that's not going to work. So, I think then it's time to summon a wolf. Yeah, I 
have to move. Okay, so here I don't have to move. But I guess I probably want to move first, because I really don't want to be too close to these guys. So I'll move back over this way. And then, yeah, we're going to summon... Oh, it's a full rune casting time. That's what's fucking me up. And I know that about summon spells. Shit. That's why I'm not doing much. Okay. Yeah, I know about that in pen and paper, that it's a full round action. I should have realized that sooner. So yeah, Tristan's not going to do anything again. Restore a spell, that's not too useful. Um, actually, can I inflict wounds on Jathael? Can I reach you? Apparently, yes. Is inflict wounds not a touch spell? Or wait, are you prepping it for next round? That's weird. Um, game? Uh, game? Did I just break the game? Whoop. I hope I didn't just skip two turns in a row. This body holds no more. Because that's not what we need right now. This can't be over. So yeah, I toggled turn-based mode off and then back on. And now I'm really worried that horrible things just happened. Okay, do not move. Just cast this. Um, yeah, you gotta put it next to the mage, even though I kind of was thinking next to the swordman. So I still get the five-foot step, even after a full round, so we're just gonna move away a little bit here. And end turn, okay. Miri. Yeah, there's no way a charge is gonna work. We're gonna try to get back into range here. Tear them apart! Although, yep, fear kind of screws that up. Still worth the attempt. Okay. Okay. Can you free these guys now? There we go. Now, I don't know if these are the ones who are going to fight. There was a named person who said it. I think it might have been over here. Yeah, there we go. I think this is the one who's willing to help. Maybe Miri could try to do that. So, it looks like I still have all my actions. It looks like this didn't cost me anything. Which is kind of nice. I'm gonna just shoot this one. We'll try to. Serves you right. Or maybe it did use my standard action. I think it might have. Okay, then just stay where you are and stop. Okay, these guys might be helping. Yeah, they will help. I should have done that sooner. Well, I mean, I didn't know that they would actually assist in the combat until we got the the flavor text. Yeah. That's actually hugely awesome. Um. Here, let's just do a standard move. Oh, okay. Shift forces a five-foot step. That's good to know. Control just changes your tooltip. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to force. I just want to use a regular move instead of a double move. And prevent double-clicking. I hope there might be. You just go ahead and cure light wounds yourself before you move any closer. Although you're not feared anymore, so you should be able to enter combat properly if we keep moving you forward. Valerie is in here with the Swordsman, which she will just have to fight. Although, if I can get a charge on the Mage, I can get a charge on this Swordsman, which might be worthwhile. Take the Attack of Opportunity. I have pretty good AC, but I'm concerned that this Swordsman is going to go for Tristian. Although, if I leave this one alone, then he's going to go for Tristian. So, yeah, no, we're uh, we're not going to do a charge. What I'll do is I'll do a melee attack here, and then I'll just uh, five foot step around, just to move a little closer to the action. Sails down. This mage is acid splashing a prisoner. Okay, there we got flank bonuses over here. But at least they're hitting the tankiest person. Uh, I think I can move a little and then move some more afterwards. It doesn't screw that up. That's good. So I'll do this. I don't think I'll be able to free them this turn because it will use my standard. And yeah, we'll get feared again anyway. All right, mood point. Go, go, slave. If 
they can soak some attacks, that would be great. So I took some damage. I still have the daze. I think the thing to do is to shoot this mage here, though. You deserved it. Animus. And then I'll just five foot step a little closer up. Sure, why not? Quill, who is no longer feared. I'm gonna move up. And again, complain about not being able to just target the ground. Like there we go. We hit them both. That's good, though. I guess I could have self-healed as well, but... Valerie, I'm going to want you to focus on this guy, because I don't want him to stay up and go after Quill. Uh, the miss is unfortunate. I don't think I need to move. Jathail, bleeding to death. Go, go, wolfy boy! Alright. Um, if we move a little bit more centered... Then this will heal everyone except Miri and Jathale, because she can't be. There you go. Eight, five. Perfect. All right, that is a really good ability. It hasn't really come up yet as, like, a superior thing where we needed it, but this was a great time for it. Oh, one of the slaves died. At least he was a no-name slave. The attack of opportunity on the mages is great. Uh, Valerie is tanky as hell. Love to see it. We're going to try this again with Miri. There we go. Work this time. Yeah, I would have prioritized that super lots next time. If I had to do it again. Oh, it's close. Close, slave. Almost got there. Mm, we're going to shoot the mage. Any last wishes? And miss horribly. And I'm going to move to center up a little bit here. Because the idea is I want to have uh, Miri be within range of our inspirational song, if we can. This guy's still alive. I don't know. I'm going to move a little closer into the middle. And drop another bomb over here. I don't like the fact that she's getting hit by two people simultaneously. Okay. Again, could have self-healed, although I'm pretty happy with this still. Um, can we get a... There we go. Okay, we can see their health bars over here. That's another thing that makes this a lot more useful. So this is definitely the most injured one, so I will keep swinging at that person. We get a crit, explode them. Beautiful. Lovely. I'm going to five foot step this way just to get a little closer to the action. Christian. I do have an inflict wounds. Let's go ahead and use it in Jathale. Because she should be able to... Oh, you were too deeply negative. I mean, I guess it is going to prevent you from dying. From if something else hits you. And, you know, sends you to, like, super deep negative hit points. But not enough to get you up. That might not have been the most useful move for him. Maybe healing someone who was still up would have been better, but... I was going to say attack of opportunity, but miss. Attack of opportunity, but miss. Ouch. All right, Miri. Perfect. Let's charge this archer. Rah! Die. Thirty-one. I mean, her bait. Her damage is insane. Two D eight plus eight, and then doubled. Wow. All right, we got to get her more like crit stacking. It's gonna be fun times. Lindsay, just take another shot over here. Not doing much damage. I mean, she's really not that great with this weapon. Alright, you can just stay there. That's fine. Um, This mage actually isn't as low as I thought. Although, I think I will target you anyway. Not much damage. But maybe the wolf will be within kill range now, depending on what kind of roll we get. Okay, it'll draw an attack of opportunity, but we've got full health. Can't do a charge. Too bad, because I would love the plus to hit. Although, I think they're just down to cantrips, and they're not actually that scary. So, you know what? Hit this one. Alright, and then just five foot step over this way. 
Because next turn, you might be out of... It's, it's hard to know what the engagement range is over here. We might be out of attack of opportunity range. Oh, goodbye, Wolfie boy. We could drop a heal on Tristan. Actually, I think we're still well served by doing this, which doesn't even use a, a spell slot. Yeah, that's no, pretty good. Okay, Lindsay was, was full, but still a good bang for a buck on two characters over here. And otherwise, I think you're okay standing where you are. Although, I guess if you got up next to this guy, you'd force attack of opportunities when he does a ranged spell attack like that. Although we miss. All right, Miri. No, no charge. But you have enough movement, you're going to be able to reach this guy for a melee attack. Nice. Now, one thing with the combat is like in cleanup phase, I could turn off the turn base mode and let the AI run again. So the AI is on, although I'm assuming that doesn't do anything in turn base mode. Looks like the answer is yeah. Nothing, no one's doing anything, which is good. I would have hated to see that happen. Um, we're in a five foot step away. Out of melee range. And then drop a bomb on your head. Excellent. And Valerie. Good. And yeah, I'm just going to turn off turn based mode now. And unpause. And the AI is on. And we can just let the auto attacks deal with themselves. Okay. Well, so we lost one slave. Kalana drops her weapon and raises her hands, which are covered in blood. Mercy, don't kill me. Um, you tried to enslave us. Uh, Regongar, the half arc bears his fangs. This is how you talk now, wretch. I've wanted to do this for so long. He casts a spell. He's a spellcaster. Great outfit. I wonder if he's a sorcerer. Cast a spell and outstretched palm, a spark begin to dancing upon it. But the half elf, Octavia, puts a hand on the shoulder. Ragnar, come on, let her go! It's one thing to kill her in battle, but executing her unarmed? Why spoil the joy of being free? We're not letting her go. Like, the nicest option is we're taking her prisoner. Although we don't have anywhere to imprison this person right now. Octavia, are you out of your mind? This filth is from the Technique League. By her own hand, she enchained us. And you want to forgive her? Do you think she'll thank you? Ha! She'll just gather another band and try to catch us again. Before deciding her faith, I want to ask him a question. I mean, I would like to get some information. Tell you everything. You will see. I'm more used to you alive than dead. Tell me about the Technique League. Alliance Wizards. Mightiest Organization. Uh-huh. Don't want you to say you your enemy. Uh-huh. Sounds promising. Only cowards with no honor reckon sheer power. A good reason for an alliance. Interesting. A little drama between Jathael and Valerie. Is it normal for you to grab random people and enslave them? Technically, it's so strong because we're never ashamed of taking what it needs, whatever the laws may say. We were missing a slave. We underestimated you. It was a mistake. I apologize. What are you doing here? Is it Maestro Janush? Important person. Mighty wizard. Um, Ungrateful slaves are nothing to know. Furious, they're free. Saying this magistral guy of yours will find us anyway, then I guess we don't need anything out of sparing you. That's not Angro Maestro. If you kill me, you'd be furious. I think he's already going to be mad. Why'd you have these two in chains? Because we own them. Spent a lot of money. Yeah. Fed and nurt treated them, even taught them magic for years. Oh, yeah. That that mentality is is a thing that exists with slavery. Oh, they're, they're, they were better off, you see, because, because, because. Uh-huh. Cost us fortune. Not going to set them. I don't have any more questions. Listen to me. Don't make any decisions. Important person. Have connections. You'll benefit from such an ally. Sparing a repentant sinner is a good deed, but I hear no repentance in her words. I agree. She seeks impunity, not mercy. I agree. Now you see what slime ball she is? Yep, um, it's the right thing. Punish your tormentor. I mean, I wouldn't have said it that way, you know, punishing your tormentor, but pisses me off, I'll finish her off myself. Neutral good, I'll spare her life. Back to Numeria. Yeah, I guess that's the problem. As future ruler of lands, I want to practice carrying out public executions. The problem is we don't have a prison. Like, we don't have a stronghold right now with a prison. So the only options are we're either killing them or letting them go. Listen, it's the right thing to punish your tormentor. Killer, Regongar. 
Half-Orc bares his fangs in a grin of triumph, raises his hand, lightning sparking. I zap thee with my heart! Okay. I, I, I mean, it's sort of a from hell's heart I stab at thee, but not really. Clump, 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 clump. I'm guessing this is shocking grasp. I didn't mean to spoil the victory, but on the other hand, she deserved it. Ha <laughs> ha, we're free, I can't believe it. Free as birds in the sky. Phew, ha ha ha. Ruglungar holds Octavia tight at a 40 foot range. Uh, and she laughs lightly and kisses him on the lips. Oh, oh. We need, so what, what's their shipper name? Ructomvia? Regavia? I don't know. Thank you. No long how long we've tried to escape the technique. This is a miracle. Um, who are you? We're going to guard this Octavia. The rotten Numerians held us as slaves. We're no mere scavengers. You see the crowd they had guarding us? It's because we use magic. And I'm not bad with the blade if it comes to that. Mm-hmm. They're all right. We could use them on our team. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we know about the Technique League. How'd you get captured? Lost count of my time to try to escape. And we're caught. Don't know who'd want to buy us. Imagine how happy we were. We learned they're taking us to River Kingdoms where slavery is forbidden. Good fighters. You want to join our group? Of course. What do you say? Happy to join you. Although, we are currently full. Can I check their character sheets from here? Hmm. I know I could... I, anyone you dismiss goes to the inn. He's clearly a sorcerer type fellow. Sorcerer, spellcaster, wizard. I don't know. With a blade? I don't know. I'm just getting a sorcerer vibe from him. Her? I don't know. It was implied that maybe they both learned magic. You know, she looks like... I don't know the actor's name. Um, They played... The, okay, in Agent Carter, they were the blonde roommate that turned out to be a Russian spy. And in Jane the Virgin, they are the character named Rose. Tell me that's not a spitting image of that person. Uh, all right, tell you what, let's drop Tristian for a second. And... Or, you know what, these two, because they're... Okay, I love Jathael. We're going to drop her for a sec based on just hit point levels. Um, and Miri. You know what, Miri, someone's got to guard Jathael on our way back. They'll, they'll both be offended by this, but it doesn't matter. And we did get some level ups, which is nice. Just going to swap this, just because I want to see who the new characters are. Okay, let's group up, and I guess it's time to put a cut in here, but just I before I do... For entertainment. Chaotic Evil. Eldritch Scion. Uh, unlike typical magi, which I think is the Pathfinder wizard sort of bigger class, do not study tomes of magic or spend time learning to combine martial or magical skills. Rather, Eldritch Scions find their spells and abilities come to them instinctively. Okay, so very much um, a, a sorcerer type. And Octavia is chaotic good. So chaotic evil, chaotic good, and they're in a relationship together? Wizard rogue multi-class. All right. It's, that's really, how many times are they going to disagree about things? Fascinating. All right, we'll put a cut in here. We got to loot this camp and uh, level up everyone and uh, really get to know our new companions. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.